Hey guys, how's it going? This is Watch from the MW Technology Channel on YouTube. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about 4K, what it is, what you need to know about it, and what my opinion is in terms of an overall format uh, that we are going to see in most of these TVs that are going to come out in the upcoming years. One of the main reasons why I want to share my thoughts on 4K is because throughout the years, many, many companies out there who make TVs and many other things have been coming out with 4K products and they've been saying that, oh, this year we're going to come out with this 4K product and that 4K product and never do we see a 4K TV that you can buy in Best Buy and uh, it's really something that they always say but never really happens. But this year, it seems like 4K is definitely going to come into the retail market for general consumers. Sony, Samsung, Toshiba, LG have all announced that they're going to bring up displays that are 4K enabled. Some people are calling it Quad HD or Ultra HD. Sony specifically has come out with a couple of different TVs uh, ranging from different sizes from 55 inch to 84 inch. The 84 inch 4K model is going to retail for about 25000 and the actual 4K resolution that they're saying that they're going to have is uh, 3840 by 2180. Now, if you don't know what 4K, it's basically a standard that has a much higher resolution than your 1920 by 1080 or full HD resolution. It typically is within 100 uh, pixels above or below 4,000 pixels. Now, of course, people have different standards, but the biggest problem is whatever the pixel count is, is the content itself. The, it's going to be extremely difficult if you are an early adopter of this technology to find anything that's truly 4K in terms of movies or TV. Now, TV and movies, when you straight away buy any of these 4K products, you're not going to have anything available. They don't even shoot some of these movies in 4K. In fact, if you're a fan of movies that recently came out, such as Prometheus, Skyfall, and Avengers, they were only shot at 2.8K with the Ares Alexa, which is a very great cinema camera, but it doesn't have the resolution needed for these high-resolution monitors. Of course, there are digital cameras like the Red Epic that will shoot up to 5K but they don't really typically finish the movie in that high resolution because of CGI, whatever. And funny enough, the movie theaters that you see them in, if you're seeing them in a digital uh, presentation, they're usually about 2K, uh, just a bit higher resolution than what you would typically find in a Blu-ray disc uh, at home. So they're really just a super uncompressed digital format of a Blu-ray disc that's a little bit above 1920 by 1080 and are within the, the 2K to 3K kind of vicinity. So even in your movie theaters, you've never seen most likely a 4K presentation of a movie. Now, one of the things that 4K will do is definitely drive competition and drive technology towards extremely high resolution and extremely high finishing. So a lot of movie studios and a lot of movie creators will have to basically push the envelope in terms of their production uh, and, and distribute the movie in 4K. Now, of course, this is not going to happen right away. You're going to have a gradual progression of resolutions and standards coming out that are a bit higher than 1920 by 1080 maybe we're not going to see a, a immediate jump up to the the quad hd resolution you're going to probably find some resolutions in between but you never know maybe we can jump up to the 4k resolution one of the nice things is movies that were shot on celluloid film can be actually uh, increased and blown up to 4K resolutions because film has no real physical resolution. It could be theoretically blown up to any resolution you want, but after about 4K, it starts to break up. But the nice thing is at 4K, it's actually probably the optimal way to watch a 35 millimeter movie. So a lot of your movies that are shot in film will have new life once a 4K standard becomes developed either through digital distribution or physical media. And another big thing is uh, film shot on medium format, 70 mil uh, epics back in the 50s and 60s, like 2001, Lawrence Arabia, Spartacus. They will again have incredible new life because they have an incredible resolution since they were shot on huge scale films. And they can probably be blown up to 8K or even higher 
higher. Of course, IMAX as well is uh, in the medium format category as well. So Dark Knight Rises and all the documentary films on IMAX will have great new life in this new world of Ultra HD. Now, one thing that I do believe will be one of the first practical products that will come out that users will actually want to buy and can use that resolution will be computer monitor displays. Now, if you see behind me right there, you'll see three monitors and a lot of power users like to use multiple monitors if they're editing videos, if they're doing kind of video production or anything like that. And the more pixels you have in each of your monitors, the more real estate you have and the more you can potentially do. So the nice thing is when they actually come out with these 4K computer monitor displays, I think they'll be very popular and sell pretty well because they actually have a content that they can use operating systems don't have any limitations in terms of resolution you can edit anything in any resolution if you're doing photos or videos or anything like that applications again can be set even computer games can go up to these super high ultra hd resolutions because the graphics card can handle that that kind of uh, crazy data and throughput and everything like that so a 4k monitor for computers will be a great thing once they actually start start to come out and be available. But other than that, guys, I know I talked a lot about 4K and what it means uh, to the industry and what it means to you as a consumer. I think it's a great technology that uh, eventually will be adopted as a mainstream standard uh, probably within the next 10 to 5 years. But other than that, guys, that's really it. If you like the video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. And uh, if you uh, found anything interesting or want to have a conversation down below, make sure to leave it on a comment down below or a question or anything like that. That. and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and make sure you've seen Maju's video of his CES TV recap. He talks a lot about the exact models of TVs that came out this year in CES and uh, hopefully this video kind of goes along with it well. But other than that guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you later. Take care. Just one inch bigger and again, it's a 4K ultra high definition TV. Uh, features the best of Samsung.